Back in July, drag queen Roxy found themselves at the center of a protest. It was over their drag story time hosted by Roxy at the Austin Library. Protesters and supporters gathered outside as Roxy read to kids. And now following the controversy, Roxy has decided to become a business owner. They opened a painting studio in Austin called Roxy. It's a place where everyone is welcome to come celebrate all things art. And joining us now is Roxy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, thanks for having me. I was telling you when you walked in, I'm like, boy, do you look beautiful. I probably should have dressed up a little <laughs> bit more. So let's talk about pronouns because we were talking, I understand pronouns. And yet when I was writing this story, I kept saying she, she, she. But when I realized I was violating pronouns, because usually we should be asking, right. what pronoun would you like me to address you as? And in this instance, when I came back and said they, they, their, let's talk a little bit about what that that means with regards to pronouns. Yeah, definitely. I think for drag performers especially, it can be difficult because uh, a lot of us identify as males outside of work and females while we're working. Uh, so for me personally, it's she, her while I'm working and he, him when you see me out on the street without all the glitz and the glam. And then when we say they and their, is that just combining the two together because of all of your interests and you, you just yeah. you as a whole person, right? yep. identifying with both? Yeah, I always say if you look at someone and you're not sure mm -hmm. which way to go, just say they or them because yeah. it's not going to fluster them if yeah. they're not used to it. But if they are used to it, they really appreciate it. Yes, I think so too, because I always hear, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Well, let's talk about your story time that you had back in Austin. We covered that and there were protesters as well as supporters there. Um, how, how did that feel? That was your first time. What kind of an impact did that have on you? Yeah, so that was actually my second time oh, doing it. I'm sorry. Yes, no, but the thing was, is the first time around, mm -hmm. it wasn't a big to do. There was mm -hmm. no big news story on it. There was no protest. Right. And I think, that just kind of the place that we're at in the world right now, yeah. all of a sudden all eyes are on Drag Queen Story Hour across the country. Yeah. And it's it's sad. I think there are so many other problems going on that we should be focused on what's going on in our backyard, in our state, in the world, not how I dress to go to work. Absolutely. And we were talking too that, you know, one of the things I know a lot of people were saying is, I don't want my child to be exposed to this. And then the other side saying, well, if you don't, then you don't have to attend. Nobody's forcing you to go. But those who want their children to be informed on diversity, equity, inclusion, acceptance, respect, then they can. Exactly. You know, attend you as they like. So did that experience um, lead, lend itself rather to you starting your new business? So it was already in the works, okay. me opening up my business, but we kept it very on the hush hush. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually been in the works for about a year um, and just kind of growing it and making it be exactly what I want it to be. Let's talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so uh, it's located on the boardwalk in okay. Austin, okay. right next to the historic Paramount Theater. Mm -hmm. And people are calling it Roxy's, Roxy's Studio, Roxy's Place. Uh, and it's just a fun place that right when you walk in the door, you're going to get that full Roxy experience. Mm -hmm. We have an atrium that has my merchandise for sale for people to come and check out, a wonderful lounge uh, mm -hmm. that's great for a backdrop for photos. And then, of course, we have the studio and the class um, space that we are going to do painting classes, dancing classes, and all that. So it's an entire experience for it folks is. when they want to come in. Are you going to be there full time? or? Uh, depending, yes. Uh, <laughs> but there is going to be a nice cardboard cutout for you to get your photo with. Oh, is that right? Are yes. you going to be wearing this so or something I, else? Actually, something else. Right? But there's definitely pictures of me in this outfit. So. Oh, wonderful. Well, we certainly wish you all the best. And thank you for setting an example of no matter where you are in your life, everyone, everyone deserves to be respected and appreciated. And we certainly appreciate you spreading that message, Roxy. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank for you. Me. Might thank have you. to have that dress. Yes. All right. We'll be sure to stick around. We will be back in just a couple seconds.